I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Today, I want to address the crazy on both sides. Yeah, I keep hearing about Joe Biden, how it's not just Trump, man, it's both sides. He seems to have some difficulty letting go of the game. Has he had a long history of mental illness? Now, let's analyze that, because... I mean, usually when there is a conflict, one side is good, moral, or right, and one side is bad, evil, or wrong, you know? At the end of World War II, I mean, <laughs> nobody said, Nazis in the alleys, man, it's both sides, man, sure. Sure, the Nazis committed genocide, killing six million Jews, but the allies, they, they let France still exist, and nobody wants that. It's both sides. Oh, oh, man, bro, when that girl got date raped, <laughs> okay, he, all right, right. He shouldn't have raped her, but, I mean, she was dressed in that, you know, totally normal outfit. It's both sides, bro. I mean, look, those cops that shot that guy in the back seven times in front of his kids? Yeah, well, if you look at that guy on the back of his shirt, was aggressive. It's both sides, man. Jeffrey Dahmer, right? Okay, okay. He shouldn't have ate those people. I get it. But those dudes went home with him to have gay sex, right? It's both sides. No, actually, it's not. Especially now in our government. You know, I have a lot of Trumpers telling me, both sides, Dems are just as bad. Nope. As a matter of fact, longtime Republican and hardcore conservative Steve Schmidt said this week... <laughs> the Republican Party is an organized conspiracy for the purposes of maintaining power for self-interest and the self-interest of its donor class. There is no fidelity to the American idea and ideal. There is no fidelity to the ideas of classical liberalism or American democracy. In 2020, there's one side, and I'm proud to be on it, that says it's for everybody for black people, for Latinos, for gay people, for every American, right? It belongs to all of us. That's not what the other side believes. Now, you know, uh, the other side uh, did come back with a response. Uh, their response was, shut up, Steve, you snowflake, liberal socialist. You're a kale-eating rhino, man. Why don't you go have sex with Nancy Pelosi and a Tesla, psycho? Because the other side is thinkers. <laughs> Now, Steve Schmidt is a lifelong Republican who worked and ran the campaign for John McCain during his last attempt at becoming president. This week, he joined the Democratic Party. It ain't both sides. As we've seen in the last four years, one side puts kids in cages, ran up the debt to make rich people richer, screwed porn stars, then used campaign donations to pay that porn star off. They also did nothing while 300,000 plus Americans died and now refuses to help those Americans through a tragedy that that side created. And the other side didn't. In fact, they passed stimulus in May. They begged for PPE and passed over 300 bills to help Americans, while the other side, Mitch McConnell specifically, let those bills sit on his desk unvoted on while people starved. There are two sides, but it ain't both sides. One side wants to protect the American public from a deadly virus and wants regulations to protect those people so more don't die from that virus. And the other side, elected by voters, wants to protect corporations. It's actually in the stimulus bill. That's what they're fighting about. They're trying to protect corporations from lawsuits brought by families of people who died because they were forced to work in deadly pandemic conditions without regulations. One side wants to protect Americans. One side wants to protect profits while people are getting evicted and waiting in food lines. So the next time you try to justify your racism, homophobia, xenophobia, look it up, I don't have time to explain what it means, your hatred of immigrants or anyone not white, or when you want to kill people's health care, unemployment, social security, or are okay with putting them in cages, your both sides do it argument is a bald-faced bullshit lie to make you feel better about being a horrific human being without a soul. It's not both sides. Both sides aren't bad. Right now, it's your side, period. 
Now you can apologize and we can move on together, fix America as a team, help each other and go forward as one side. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm Christopher Titus and this is the Armageddon Update. I'm like Martin Luther King, except almost clear. 